it's I'm getting the same feels that I was around draft time. You know, Ooh, a week or two before the draft, respect. you're just like, all right, I'm done with the draft talk. Let's just yeah. get the damn draft over. Let's with. get it. Uh huh. I'm the same way with the preseason right now. We've seen the first team offense. We saw mm-hmm. KP Cook. We've seen enough stuff from Calvin Austin. Know that he's yeah. going to be a factor. Know that Pickens is going to be that guy. Deontay, Najee, Jalen. We, we've seen everything we need to see from the offense. Okay. And then we already know our defense. It's very veteran heavy, but we got stars there too. Like we know what the defense is. I don't need to see any of these guys in this Falcons preseason game. I don't. Let's just get to the regular season. <laughs> I'm yeah. I'm sick of the preseason. Hey, hey. I'm sick of it. Unfortunately, or fortunately, depending on the perspective, we can't hit the fast forward button or the simulation button in real life. So we do actually got to take this thing one day at a time. And we do have to actually watch and play for some of the dudes in that preseason game. I mean, it's going to be impactful for some of them. And there are some dudes that are listed as starters on the depth chart that we'll obviously talk about that could potentially make a move or two, man, in this game. So I'm with you. But at the same time, I can understand on the other side where they're going to need to go out there and put their best foot forward. And I think you would want that too, man, because you don't want them going into the season with bad juju on them. You don't want that. It's Uh, not a good vibe, bro. Well, we already have good juju. Let's just... That's sit out the starters for the Falcons game. But what I'm saying is some people might view that as potentially bad juju because you lose the momentum. Two weeks, flat when you come back out. Now you're trying to recapture this moment, recapture this spark, recapture this timing that we got right now. I mean, we're talking basically like, what, four or five days in between Saturday and this Thursday game. What you, what you worried about? What I'd rather just concerned? go into the season healthy and... <laughs> Not add any extra injury <laughs> risk in a meaningless pre- preseason game. But it's technically not meaningless. Not meaningless. It's meaningless. It's not meaningless. No, no, not, no. Not for the second and third no, stringers no. that are like fighting for spots. Think, I'll give you that. About, I'm, think, t- I'm strictly think, think talking about, about the starters in the first team. But not all starters are created equal, though. Coach Tomlin even spoke on that. He specifically said, my all pros, my 30-year-old cornerback, I know a lot about you guys. That cannot be said about Calvin Austin. That can't be said to the full extent about some of the other younger dudes. On we offense. need to hide Calvin Austin from the rest of the league. <laughs> what you worried about? We want him to be a surprise like when the regular that, season he like that, right? comes around. But if he's like that, he's going to be like that, right? He is, but I'd rather it be a little bit of a shock to the league system for the first month. Like, oh, who's this 19 guy? The Steelers. <laughs> I mean, he, he's already doing amazing stuff in these preseason games. So my thing is like, I, don't, I don't need these teams to be putting an extra but, but target on them This is the now. thing, though. If you're a professional, which I'm assuming all these teams we're going to be playing should be at least operating with that mentality. They're going to look at that preseason game, week one and week two. He is not going to surprise anybody if Calvin Austin is lined up out there. Everybody on defense, if you in the secondary's antenna, should go up and say he's running a vertical. Give him the slant. Give him the uh, the stop route. Don't let him get you over top. Get them hands on him. Just based on the two games. So he's not going to be a secret. He's not. But it's a good problem to have because we know he's nice. And if a team wants to spend extra time preparing for Calvin because what they saw in the preseason, well, that's just better for Pickens. That's better for DJ. And that's definitely better for Moof, Washington. Hayward, Warren. Not, well, we got a lot going on, bro. It's a great situation. We I, I would just it's a simply, great situation. No, so, sit I'd simply hurt, rather go into put the season in, fully look, healthy. No, put them in. And this, we're at that point Deke, right now. Stop it, Deke. Go ahead. First play of the game, Matt Kennedy. Give me four wides. You know Falcons going to come out and cover three. Let Kyle run it up the slot, right? Let's go and show some speed again, man. I want to see some. I want to see something electric. I don't need to see any more. <laughs> That's my thing. You're talking about this four wide stuff. Come out, guns blazing against Falcons. Yeah. I'm just like, cool. It's preseason. Yeah. We've already seen no, enough no. of that. You can't. I know. Play preseason I now. know what we got for no, week one. You I already know what we got. Don't play the preseason now, D. Come on, we gotta ride this preseason wave, man. This is another building, another building block for us, bro. It's another one. <laughs> Let's go, man. We need. It this could one. be. No, I mean, there, there could be benefit to it, but yeah. again, I just. Have my priorities where I'd rather be fully healthy. That's all. <laughs> yeah, this could be a nice little thing to have going into the regular season. Just another. You want to start fast, Another right? couple series for Th- the first think team. About, think about more reps for some of the young guys. One, I get it. I get it. But fast, again, hot. I'd rather be healthy. So how would you feel if we're healthy, but we start slow the first two, three weeks offensively? It shouldn't take that long. But if it does, because this is a young group, which we've talked about, young groups, you don't operate 
or treat like veteran groups. This is a very young group right here. I'm very hard pressed to believe we'll be starting off slow with how these guys came out in the preseason. They, they, they look geared up and ready to go. But why has that been? Because the message from day one in training camp or even dating back to OTAs has been when we're out here, we're going all the way to the max, right? So all that message stays the same until now. What's the last preseason game? Still a game, right? I mean, Coach T said the I starters mean, are still playing, right? Even in Killer B eras or times we but had those, Super Bowl but teams. But Killer B's and Super Bowl teams are veteran. This group is not veteran yet. In terms of the offense, they're not. Hey, man, I'm just I'm just yeah. giving you my priorities and telling you what I would prefer. I'm not saying you're wrong. I like I'm that with messaging. You though, bro. I, I'm I with like you. that messaging. I'm with you. But I don't need to see anything else. I, I don't. Like you, you want to talk about me trying to get up for this game and like, oh, man, I can't wait to see an explosive yeah, Calvin yeah, Austin yeah. play. I've already seen it. Yeah. Oh, we need to see Pickett in command under control. Seen it already. So why three series, so, three so, touchdowns? So why Pickens, Deontay? So why was I've seen just it. that short sample in the preseason enough for you? It's a hundred percent. I don't need to see anymore. All right, all right. Let's get into the regular season when the games count. I could dig it. I could dig it, man.